Hello and welcome to the channel. We had been hearing about this festival for some time, and finally the stars aligned, allowing us to visit the Beggarville Pasanka Festival. The festival, which is usually held in early July, showcases all things Ukrainian found in this part of Western Canada. One of the first things you'll notice when entering Vagerville is this Ukrainian-style Easter egg, or Pasanka, which is reportedly the second largest in the world. The largest one is located in the town of Kolomia, Ukraine, unless Putin has destroyed that too. We then made our way to the parking lot where various vehicles were parked, and unique transportation options were available to take you around the venue. The spirit of the festival was quickly evident as we came upon some singing and dancing. Finding our way to the folk arts displays, we are immersed in the culture that Ukrainians brought to Alberta. This shows the stages of egg decorating, which moves from the right to the finished egg at left. Wax is applied to the egg in stages, with different colors added after each wax application. The final step involves removing the wax to reveal the vibrant and intricate designs. This weaving loom is a type that I've never encountered before, and as observed, it features a rather complex design despite its small size. The colored levers on the right side were particularly unfamiliar to me, however they may serve as a substitute for foot pedals or treadles found on other types of looms. All in all, it was fascinating to see it in use. They also showcased other examples of Ukrainian embroidery styles here, such as this white dress crafted from repurposed flower sacks. I believe this is a pipe holder, and I've only seen one other example similar to this that came from Bulgaria. I'm not sure if it's a decorative piece or an actual functional pipe. You don't see too many of these around here. This display also caught my eye. These items seem to resemble a chess set, but nevertheless are quite unique, and these beer steins made out of horn were certainly appealing to me. The folk art displays had a bit of everything, including some very well done cakes. I doubt these particular ones were edible though. As we moved on to explore the merchandise on display, we discovered a wide array of Ukrainian-themed items, including folk arts and crafts. After exploring the area, it was time to walk over to another pavilion to enjoy some traditional Ukrainian folk dancing. To conclude the day, we watched demonstrations on rope making, blacksmithing, and leatherworking, all invoking the pioneering spirit and Ukrainian heritage that had been brought to Canada.
I hope you enjoyed seeing Vegreville's Pisanka Festival. When this festival comes around next year, I highly recommend going and immersing yourself in this spectacular showcase of unique culture.